In this first video, I actually want to talk about kind of the general overview of how Merch by Amazon works, kind of give you a broad description of, you know, what you're trying to do. So first of all, there is actually a few things that I want to share with you. And first thing is, is it's a numbers game. Okay, with Amazon Merch, it's all about the person with the most designs up wins. A person with 1500 designs on Amazon, whether it be shirt designs or pop sockets or whatever you're doing a person with 1500 designs is going to be making more money than a person with 300 designs up okay so it's literally a numbers game the more designs you have up on Amazon the more money you're going to make second thing is it's not a get-rich-quick business okay it takes time to get to the higher tiers where you can upload more shirts and 5% of your designs are going to be making 90% of your sales at least that's what I've found it's a that's an approximate number uh, if you've ever heard of the 80 20 rule then you know 20% of your products will make 80% of your sales 80% of your revenue it's it's more like 5 and 90 or 5 and 80 with Amazon because well not only a lot of competition but there's also holidays that come up so if you have a bunch of Christmas uh, shirts up you're gonna you're gonna be making a lot more Christmas sales than anything else all right with those Christmas designs or Halloween designs or designs for St. Patrick's Day. And then the third thing I want to say before I get into this is to stay within the rules of Amazon. Amazon is super, super strict with copyright and trademarks, okay, because they don't want any type of um, lashback or lawsuits from any other person. So I'm going to be going over copyright and trademarks in a, in a video of its own, and it's probably going to be, you know, pretty lengthy. Just for now, know that you need to stay within the rules, especially when you're on the lower tiers, because when you're you're on the lower tiers say the 10 tier 25 tier 100 tier you're going to be scrutinized a little more because they don't want someone coming in and kind of screwing up their whole their whole business with a lawsuit they want to make sure that you're the real deal and you're making good designs that are original before they you know start bumping you up to the bigger tiers those are the three things that I wanted to get out of the way in this first video basically what you want to do is you're gonna be after you request your invitation and I'll go through that in the next video after you request your invitation we're basically going to be uploading our artwork with specific keywords in the title in our bullets in our description we're gonna be setting a list price and every time a shirt is sold we're gonna be getting paid um, this month is November so in November the November sales we're gonna get paid for those sales at the end of December okay so it's kind of a, a two-month time frame from when you sell a shirt to when you when you get paid for it you know once you get the ball ro rolling then um, your money is gonna come in kind of like clockwork and it's it's gonna feel like you're not even working for it there's a link somewhere on this page it's merch Dot amazon.com and you can request an invitation and I'll go over that um, in the next video also the one thing I did want to go over in this video too is some of the FAQs like the tiers the goal when you're below 100 tiers the goal is for you to get to 100 tier the 100 tier where you can upload 100 designs as fast as possible that's the goal okay so when you when you get approved you want to upload your 10 designs and get to the 100 tier as fast as possible meaning you're going to have to sell at least 25 shirts and there are a number of ways to do that pretty quickly um, and I'll show you that in another in another video but that's the goal when you first sign up is to get to that 100 tier level once you get to that 100 tier level then you can start getting into all the operational stuff that you need to do meaning hiring a, uh, a full-time designer not a full-time not meaning they're not working 40 hours a week meaning you are creating a designer that you're gonna use consistently every week or every day or, or every month um, and then creating a schedule for that designer with all your design ideas ready to go in a spreadsheet and we'll get through all that in this training if you have any like there's a lot of FAQs here I suggest going through um, the resource section and merch by Amazon if you click on resources up here it'll bring you um, to this page and you can actually go through you can download your product templates um, and all that kind of stuff I'm gonna be going through this too obviously just read through all this stuff and make sure you know 
you know what to give your designer because your designer needs to know hey it needs to be for 4500 pixels by 5400 pixels and it doesn't have to you can't have a background image on it and the pop sockets are 485 by 45 so you need to know all this stuff so I su highly suggest going through um, everything here especially the content policy now let me talk about that a little bit there is they are very very strict with copyrights with trademarks things you can't promote okay you can't do um, any child exploitation profanity promotion uh, promotion of hate or violence and or intolerance I should say human tragedy like if there's a if there's an earthquake somewhere in the world you can't create shirts that say you know blah 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 hurt uh, uh, earthquake relief you know and expect to make sales from that you can't do that you can't promote violence you can't promote nazism you know there's a lot of things here so quickly read that over read over the royalties um, section and the best practices okay um, make sure you know all this stuff before you get into uploading your shirts because the last thing you want to do is actually upload a shirt that gets you banned all right you don't want to get banned from Amazon merch that's a bad thing and and in the beginning it's very 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 important that you stick to their rules and their guidelines because they are super they are more strict on the 10 and 25 tier level with you than they are with someone at the 25 or 5000 level okay because that that person on the 5000 level already has their trust so they don't look at you know things as strict or they don't look at them um, as often um, as they will when you're on the lower tiers all right so just make sure you know everything and there's a bunch of FAQs that you can go through and see what this is all about in the resources section again if you have any questions about anything you can always write something in the Merch Academy group and a lot of people are there to to help you I'll be in there answering your questions so we will see you guys in the next video